Ziggy? It's only a cat. <laughs> yeah. It's only a cat. You won't bite you. Wow, look at you. Look at Ziggy. What's going on? Hmm? Good boy. That's alright. You'll be fine. It's only a cat. Did you see something? Did you see something? Hmm? Did you see? What do you see? Did you see a cat? Hmm? Big black cat, right? Hmm? You see a black cat, right? Oh, you want to see another one? Hmm? <laughs> Good boy, Jiggy boy. Look at your face. Let's go, Ziggy. Come on. Another day. Good morning and welcome to our channel, Aussie Bicolana Lifestyle. Today is another day with our little doggy Ziggy. It's another beautiful day here in Sydney, Australia. And we are taking a walk again at around 9 o'clock in the morning. It's my day off and I think it's a good time to uh, have a discussion about a lot of things. Firstly, Ziggy is almost one and a half years, I think. And he's a blue Staffordshire dog. And he loves the grass. I've got to try and get him off the grass because he gets a bit itchy under his belly if he's on the grass too much. What we'll do today is we'll take a walk around the garden where our apartment is and uh, see how eager he is to go for a walk. Beautiful day. Ziggy, over here, boy. Zig, over here. We'll go this way. This is the garden that we uh, have here at the unit. Pretty beautiful. We have a waterfall as well. This way, boy. Go for a walk. That's it. You want to go up there? Do you like it up there? Okay, you lead the way. You lead the way. What's that? You know, this morning, he saw a cat, a black cat, climbing on top of the fence and he went crazy. And I think that was the first time he's actually seen a cat. And he's trying to look for it now. You see, he's very keen. Not there, boy. There, he's not there. He's not there. He's gone. See how nice. I like this particular tree over here. It's like a... This way, boy. It's a lovely plants here in the park where we live. And I'll take you to the swimming pool. He's very active today. He's trying to sniff out the cat. I know. This way, boy. He's trying to sniff out the cat. Because the cat, there's one black cat that roams around this place. So I gotta be very careful because he might just attack the damn thing. I mean the poor little pussy cat. This way, boy. Up there. Here. Nope, not there. This way. Come on. Good boy. Oh, what's wrong? <laughs> something wrong with his tail. He's always trying to scratch his tail, something like that. This morning. This is the swimming pool that we have here at the uh, apartment. It's a very nice pool, but unfortunately, I seldom go in because I'm not very keen on cold pools. It's, it's nice, but it's a bit cold. The weather, and we have a nice barbecue area here. See, we can uh, book a day where we can have a barbecue here but the uh, rules are that you have to clean it up but I don't think people do clean it up sometimes they leave it dirty okay this way boy isn't this a lovely waterfall I really like this it's really nice this way boy okay let's go on to the main road and uh, have a little walk and a chat 
Now what do we chat about today? Let's go back to the building of the house at Hiyo Pandan Katanduanis. We've had some fresh video yesterday. Oh, look at the green birds. Fresh video yesterday. And uh, they are really moving really quickly, the uh, workers. They are now up to the stage where they're actually tiling the floor. Unbelievable how quick they work. And uh, apart from the flooring, they are also doing the ceilings. If you have been following our channel lately, we are a couple based in Sydney building a house in the Philippines, Pandan Katandu Anis. At this present time, they are, as you can see from the video, we have workers everywhere. There's some doing the tiling work, some doing the skim coat, some are fixing the ceilings. This is the one of the smaller rooms. This is the private toilet which is in the house. For the actually it's the public toilet. And the tiles are dark brown with a light uh, beige flooring. This is the master bedroom here. We have two windows that are sealed windows. This is the we are walking through the uh, walk-in wardrobe and this is the toilet. It consists of a very light grey uh, tiles on the wall and a slightly darker grey flooring which is non-slipped. It has uh, two sinks, a bath, tub and a shower. This worker is uh, fixing the tiles, he's cutting some tiles as we walk through the corridor on the left, we have another room which has a sort of a window because uh, it just lets ventilation for ventilation. And this is the kitchen area as we walk through. You can see that they are very busy with the skim coating at the moment. And it's a very high ceiling for the dining and the lounge room. This is the kitchen uh, ceiling with three lights hanging. As we go up the stairs, which the staircase will be uh, built with uh, mahogany wood. And there is a window there, a fixed window for the light to make sure there's enough light. They are still doing the skim coating. This is the view from upstairs. There will be a glass uh, divider. Railing. This is the outside balcony area. It has an L shape design. We will be putting uh, wooden uh, wood uh, 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 tiles that look like wood on the inside of the upstairs room and outside as well. Same color. This is the roof that they had fixed a couple of days ago. It looks pretty solid to me. And this is part of the balcony. This is a seal window. This is downstairs where our room is. There are two fixed windows and this is the front of the house. Everything surrounds the view. So there are windows, uh, there could be uh, seal windows to make sure that we have we take advantage of the the uh, the view. That's the road 
that we had built earlier on towards the main street. This is the master toilet, master bedroom toilet. If you can see in the background, there's a, I think it's a globe uh, internet tower. If I'm not mistaken, if it's a globe, I'm not sure. They are still doing scheme coating at the top of the building. It should be finished at the end of this week. The completion time is approximately May this year. So we hope we can complete the whole construction by that time, by the end of May. Dan nama nama panahon. Kukan tay nama jen bayan. This is the uh, gardening program that we have uh, started. And, uh, there are two uh, workers that are planting kamute. And it's a pretty big area. There are around 20 over rows of kamute. So we hope by in a couple of months that we can see some progress uh, from, the, from the seedlings that we have put in. We have water that comes from the bottom stream uh, that is pumped by the ramp pump that will supply uh, the water for, for the plant planting. The weather is pretty breezy today uh, and it's nearly every day is the same. A lot, a, a nice breeze that goes through the whole place. It comes from the ocean. They're very busy making sure that the plants are planted properly after the carabao had, you know, turned the land. It's a big, it's a pretty big area. We are expecting to get some banana trees, seedlings, 
uh, pineapple, rambutan, corn. This is like a, 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 a trial run for us. So if this works, then the sky is the limit. There's so much land, so we, we need to make sure that it's utilized. The seedlings are being bought by, we bought it from the neighbor and he's a farmer. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the workers are from the neighbor. So we pay them so they can plant for us. That might take another week. I'm giving it a whole week for them to finish. I'm sure they will. And uh, it's having a piss. <laughs> Good boy. What's that? Look, he's how nice. His structure is so nice. Look at him standing there. He looks like a... He actually looks like a show dog. I would get some video coming in soon. So... Watch out for that video, it's going to be a nice one. What's that, boy? Stop smelling. <laughs> it's sniffing the... Must be some dogs around here. I must be careful with walking him here sometimes because some of the people who walk dogs here, they don't pick up their poo. And it's all on the grass. And that's not nice. Because what I have here, look. We have our own plastic bags. Are you tired already? Hmm? Are you tired already? He's more keen than anything. I think because the weather is pretty fresh now, it's only 9 in the morning, and you get nice cool breeze. Perfect morning with a nice bright sun. See, once every couple of hours, I've got to take him out for a walk because it gives me chance to come out and have a bit of exercise as well which I enjoy because it takes me out of my comfort zone and see new things what's that boy sniffing a lot today this way boy okay go on the grass because there's someone coming we don't want to be in their way It's because now it's time where kids are going to school. Uh, Australia is a very lucky country where kids uh, can relax their school life. Come on. <laughs> Have a good holiday. <laughs> this way yeah there was a lady with a, a bag come on this way with a bag and I think she's waiting for some transport to take her to the airport she had a suitcase and uh, she looks ready for a good holiday uh, pretty senior she's about 60 plus I think or 70 Yeah, we can't wait to go for a holiday too because so much work. We're sort of burnt out, both of us, Nini and me. We're sort of burnt out from work. And it's time to stop for a while and have a bit of a break. Come on, boy. Oh, look, someone's trimming the hedge. Good morning. There you go, boy. <laughs> His name is Ziggy. Hey Ziggy, how are you? Hey mate. Nice day today. Yeah, I lost my staffy about. Oh, did you? Two months ago, yeah. Uh, how old? 14. Oh, that's how? Accident? No, just um, she had kidney, fa she went to a kidney failure. Kidney failure, oh, okay. Sorry just, to hear that. Just really, um, I mean, she was old too, but. Yeah, yeah. yeah what no, colour? Real sudden, like every about four or five days. Just mm. downhill, but. What colour? 
Um, she was black and white. Black and white. Yeah. Yeah. This he had his testicles cut, yep. so he won't be going getting big and all that. He's just yeah. that size. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry to hear about that. Oh, it's okay. We'll get another one one day. Get bit, another one? Yeah, a bit too soon now, but we'll get one. That's so nice. Yeah. They're oh, lovely that. dogs. Yeah, between my wife and I, we've had three or four of them. Three, three or four already? Yeah. Hmm. I've been with kids and then growing up and stuff. No, yeah. for dogs. Okay, nice talking to you. Right. You have a nice day. You too. Bye-bye. Well, look at this. Ah, one question. I'm very curious. Because I have a bit of a property in the Philippines yep. and it's a pretty big area where you've got a lot of grass. I've been looking at that. Yep. It's about $8,000 expensive. Yeah, it depends. Like that one there is probably 20 grand. 20 here? Yeah. Because it's so big. Yeah, it's commercial. But you can get smaller ones. Smaller ones, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they're good, right? You sit and... Yeah, but I mean, there's... Like there's... um, Yeah, that, that's a commercial grade. Yeah. Depending on how much property you've got. Mm -hmm. But... um. Like obviously, the cheaper you get, the the less quality they are. Like they're not as strong. But and... it's it's a it's a pretty good brand. It's an American brand. It's a I can't remember. It's red in color. I've looked it up. Okay. Yeah, but it looks exactly like this. But they look. I'm looking at eight thousand dollars. Yeah. As long as it's done regularly, like if you if you mow like every week or two, and yeah. it's, it's a lot less stress on the machine. Yeah. But then if you let it go, do it once every month or whatever. It's more stressful more for the stress, machine itself. That's, that's when things break and stuff. Yeah. 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 So I just take that in consideration. Yeah. Like if you can do it regularly, yeah. or someone can do it regularly, yeah. you'll probably get away with a cheaper machine, but then... Right. Yeah. So do it. Cut the grass regularly. Yeah, so don't so, stress it out. Saying that, like, I only do about 100 hours a year on, on that machine. Yeah. I'll probably go to a little bit less. And yeah. Be all right. yeah. Yeah. We're talking about that machine over there. See? That's a... Yeah, thank you. No Appreciate that. See this machine here? It's a Kubota. This is the one that we hope to. This is a commercialized uh, piece of equipment. Oh, sorry, it's the sun in your eyes. Sorry, guys, I forgot. Because that guy is a professional gardener and he uses one of those ride on mowers, which I'm quite interested in getting for Hiop uh, property that will cut the grass easily because it's pretty big and oops another dog coming gotta get with it oh look at him go crazy morning <laughs> you look at that oh look at that it's a poodle isn't that lovely this way come on boy let's get out of here see the people start walking dogs in the morning at this time and because it's nice and sunny yeah we talked about getting a, a ride-on mower but that one's a commercialized and like you're talking about eight thousand dollars for the one that I'm looking at and it's an American brand but it will really help us out with cutting the grass without employing people to do it for us because in the long run you really got to do your own cutting of the grass to save some money so putting an investment like that it's a good idea we'll see how it goes I just got to convince Nini uh, whether she wants to go for it or not but that's down the line we still got a lot of time we can sort of save for it yeah 8,000 is a lot but if you look at the long term it's worth it you see yeah good boy we're not going to go very far today we're just going to go just we're just going to go around the estate for about 20 minutes and then maybe later on I'll come out again and do another walk. Yeah, so that's the update for the Pandan Katandu Anis Hiop, Barangay Hiop property. We will be getting more videos for you to see what's going on. A lot of subscribers, they sort of like to watch house building. So that's... Uh, me too because i do watch a lot of house building myself but uh, for us here it, it's only a bit of a limited limited amount of videos i can get because that's our nephew sending some videos over and some of the videos are not very clear but we try to make the best out of it the days go by very quickly 
it's already Thursday again and I can remember the last Thursday I walked Ziggy and it's just gone so quickly. I don't know, maybe the world's turning quicker than it should. I don't know. Oh, birds all over the shop. Ziggy boy, you tired? <laughs> he had it, he's his, his uh, mum, Mandy, she brought her over, brought him over about 8.30. So I think they had a bit of a walk earlier on. But never mind, every two hours, I'll take him for a walk. The subject on the current economic situation here in Australia. Uh, there are a few changes that we are going through. Uh, of course, the price of things have gone up. That doesn't come down. Uh, the amount of loans that you can take has been limited. You have to really qualify to have a loan for your house. Uh, that's a very big issue for all the new, uh, for the new first-time buyers. They have a system where they can pay the uh, stamp duty or they have a choice to pay every year a certain fee uh, to the government without paying stamp duty. But you still need the deposit and that is the most difficult part here for Australians at the moment because for those who are just starting to Starting to save some money for a house is impossible because they are very careful to lend uh, people money these days because of the insecurity of, of uh, the current situation in the world. So if you got cash, it helps to put a deposit. But if you don't have that enough, you just got to wait. But I'm saying that rental has gone up a lot and really a lot it seems that you have to actually queue for miles to actually view a property and uh, because there's so many migrants that are coming into the country rental properties are being snapped up immediately and the prices have gone up so it's quite a bit of a gloom or uh, cloud over the whole thing at the moment I hope things will settle with China, Russia and the US so we can get back to normal and make some money and do nice things and move on. So in the meantime, you guys take care and uh, I'll see you in another video. Say thank you. Everything alright? Alright? Alright, we'll see you later on. Take care. This way, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. I swear, my key is in the other pocket. Can you imagine getting stuck out here? My God, with a dog, without the key. That's, that's really, they're really crazy. Okay. See you later. Come on, boy. Let's go. In you go. Good boy. <laughs>